Hey everyone, today we are going to go through Microsoft Power Ties, which is a set of utilities for customizing windows provided by Microsoft free of cost. This is something that I use on a daily basis and has made my work easier, specifically the text extractor, using which you can give it a screenshot and it will give you the text directly copied to your clipboard that you can use it anywhere. Apart from text extractor, there are other few very useful tools like Power Rename or Image Resizer, or you also have Color Picker, etc. So let's get right into it. Let's quickly set up things. PowerToys is completely free and available directly from Microsoft, but we will install it from a GitHub page. So let's search PowerToys here. And this first link that is for GitHub, let's open it up. And if we scroll a bit down, we should see here that says via GitHub with XE. We are just going to install x64 one. Let's wait till it downloads. It's not a big file, just 257 MBs. All right, so we have our Microsoft Power Toys download. Let's run the setup. All right, so this will open up a window that says Welcome to Power Toys. And on the left side, you have a long list of tools that are available to make your day to day work easier. From these, we will only explore a couple of them. So let's start exploring these. All right, so the first one we will explore is Power Toys Run. So let's say you need a quick way to launch app and files. Power Toys Run acts like a supercharged search bar. Just hit the shortcut key that is usually Alt plus space and start typing. It can even open system settings and jump to specific folders, saving you precious clicks. All right, so let's say we want calculator and we can see calculator here. Let's say we want to open Power BI and you have it here. All right, so you can also search for something specific directly inside a web browser. So for example, let's say we want to look for Elon Musk and it says search the web in Microsoft Edge. Click on it and it will open a new window. With your search results great let's move on to next one so next one we have is image resizer batch resizing images can be a tedious task power ties image resizer takes a pain out of it so let's open up some of the sample images i have all right so in the sample folder i have some images that have quite a large size so for example if i click on view and details we should be able to see the size and you can see it's 4 mb 2 mb and 3 mb a lot of pictures taken these days through a DSLR will have a really big size. So 6 to 10 MB or even plus 10 MB is very standard. So let's select all of the photos. Right click and the option you're looking for is resize with image resizer. Click on it. It opens up. And from here you can select the image size. So you have large, medium, small. You can also put in custom size. We don't want to do that. We just want this to be small. We're going to leave all of the settings as it is. We don't want to overwrite files. We want new files to be created. There are a settings gear icon here as well for more details. You can explore this on your own time. We're just going to go back and click on resize and boom. You can see four new files have been created with small in parentheses and you can see the size is really small. So let's just open up and see what really it did. So this is a small size and this was the original size. So yeah, it has made it small and it has decreased the quality of it, which is expected as you can see the file size is now 95 KB compared to 98 MB. So it really depends on what you need it for and what size you need it. On to our next tool, which is Power Rename. So as you can see here, it should be somewhere here, Power Rename. So let's select all of these files and right click. And here the option we're looking for is Rename with Power Rename. Click on it and you get a new window here. Here you can add the item that you want to search for and you want to replace with. So for example, we just want to look for the value that says small. So as you can see, it has selected these values in real time. And since we did not give it any value in replace with, it just added a blank parenthesis. It means that it's not replacing the value with anything. We can do that or we can put a new value here. So we can say edited and you can see it has just converted the small to edited. There are some more options. So you can say apply to file name plus extension or just a file name or just extension. But I would say just keep file name plus extension selected just to make sure that there are no extension issues later on. We also have some text formatting options. So you can convert this to lowercase while renaming or uppercase title case, etc. For now, we are not interested in these. So we're just going to click on apply. Keep in mind that where it did not find anything, it's just not going to rename those. So as you can see, there's no after value on these lines. Let's click on apply and we can see in real time our file names have changed 
from small is now says edited in parentheses right so let's look at another one that is called color picker this is essentially important and useful for developers or programmers where they are looking for an exact color to match so let's click on it and the way you can use it is how to use that says windows shift c so let's press it and you can see a small icon appears that gives the hex code for it and as soon as you press click anywhere it's going to copy that hex code and give you a new box from here you can easily copy it the last and the most useful one which i use very often is called text extractor which basically extracts text from an images or a screenshot and it's really helpful so let's do that go here and click on text extractor and you can see the shortcut it says is windows shift t so let's search something on internet and then try to extract text from it so let's just search for excel table and click on images let's see if we can find some good example okay so let's say we have an image that that is this one let's just test it so the shortcut was windows shift t press it and you will see this new window will pop up and this will give you an option to select the area that you want to extract text from so let's select it so let's just try to extract the last name first and done as soon as you're done this should automatically add the data to the clipboard so let's open notepad and let's try to paste it all right so let's just try to see this side by side so we have smith johnson williams and this looks pretty good so let's try to do another one let's try to do the amounts now so let's press windows shift t again and let's select the sales column hopefully i can take a good screenshot and release should have been copied to clipboard so let's just click here and click on paste so let's start reviewing so 16 and first one looks good second is good third is good this one should have zero zero we have 40 65 right this seems pretty good we only have a couple of issues so for example this one this should be 19302.00 rest of them i think it picked up correctly it has done a pretty decent job i would suggest to you guys to try this at your own on few other examples and let me know in the comment section this is a game changer for tasks like collecting codes grabbing website information or extracting text from screenshots quickly head over to the microsoft website to download power toys and start exploring its potential don't forget to leave a comment below and share your favorite power toys features let's build a community of power users Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. Until next time, happy computing.